Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer. Special welcome if you're joining us for the first time. This is an opportunity for us to pause each day, to slow down, to offer our uh, scattered thoughts to God, and to allow ourselves to be re centered, um, to get a moment off God's perspective on, uh, on our lives and what's happening in the world around us. We've been reading through the Psalms, and tonight we're going to be reading um, Psalm 28. So get a, a copy of the Psalms or open up a Bible app at Psalm 28. We'll be reading together later. Um, I'm using the NIV. Uh, and we're also in the middle of 10 days of prayer for people to turn to Jesus, to say yes to Jesus, to experience life change because of Jesus. And today we are particularly praying for children and young people. Um, two thirds of people who follow Jesus came to faith before the age of 18. Two thirds. 43% um, of those, 43% uh, of all people who are Christians um, became Christians, started following Jesus before age 12. Uh, and less than one quarter of current disciples of Jesus uh, came to Christ after the age of 21. Um, that time of formation, of making decisions, of life choices, it is so important. So we mustn't think that uh, the good news or the, the Jesus following way is something that is just for older people. We mustn't think um, that young people and children cannot decide to follow Jesus. We mustn't treat them as uh, second class or you'll find out when you're older. Jesus didn't. Jesus didn't. Jesus placed a child in the midst of them um, and said, if anyone wants to be the greatest in the kingdom, they must become like a little child. So let's bear that in mind as we're praying this evening. We want to make ourselves um, aware of God's presence with us, God's presence that is with us every moment of every day. But we're not always aware. And so we're going to be deliberate about that. And we're going to light this candle as a visible reminder of God's presence with us. So let's do that now. And let's be still. Jesus, light of the world. We thank you for your presence with us. We thank you, God, that as we read your word together, we are um, refreshed, we're renewed, we're challenged. Lord, the Psalms have been given voice to our, um, to our heart cries, to our longings. And Lord, in this 10 days, as we're praying for people to turn to Jesus, Lord, would you give us the desires of our heart? Would our longings uh, become more like your longings? Would our desires feel more like your desires? Would our priorities look more like your priorities? Lord, give us your perspective now. Lift our worries from our shoulders. And Lord, lead us into battle in prayer. Amen. Psalm 28. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent... I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy place. 
Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbours, but harbour malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve. Because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. And then we want to use this psalm as a, as a jumping off point uh, into our prayer for, for children and young people. Um, so as we do that, maybe you just want to call to mind uh, a face, uh, some names, uh, children and young people that you know, that you care about, that are on your heart. Um, children and young people that need to know Jesus, that we long for to know how much Jesus loves them, the plans and the purpose that Jesus has for them, the adventure that life with Jesus is. Let's pray. Yeah. Lord, I want to thank you that you are our rock, that you are the one on whom we can call. Lord, that you are uh, available to us as a helper. And God, we know so many children and young people who feel like they need someone to, to call on, someone to help them, someone to come to their aid. I think especially of young people and children who, who feel ignored, overlooked, neglected. And as David writes, God, don't turn a deaf ear to me. Lord, there's children and young people who just desperately need to know that you hear them, that you understand them, that you listen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, we want the children and young people in our lives to know that you are a strength and a shield. Lord, you can bring them through any, uh, any circumstances, any situation. Yeah. Lord, thank you for these words of David. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Lord, thank you for that childhood gift of joy. And God, we don't want to see children, young people robbed of that joy, robbed of that lightness of spirit, robbed of that um, clarity of vision. And so, Lord Jesus, just make yourself available to them, Lord. Make yourself known to them. God, we want to pray for um, people who go into schools to speak of you, either specifically as, as youth and children's workers in assemblies or as teachers every day or as um, caretakers or um, whoever it is, Lord. We just want to pray that their witness to you would be a witness of joy, a witness of life in all its fullness. Yeah. Lord Jesus, and we know that there's so many things that would uh, lead children and young people into bad choices and to making bad decisions early in their life. Uh, bad habits, destructive ways, uh, wrong priorities. And Lord, we thank you that you are our shepherd. That you, Jesus, when we submit to you, you lead us away from uh, what is bad for us, what is harmful, what is destructive. And you lead us into, uh, into fullness of life. And so, Lord, we pray that we may be a witness to the children and young people in our lives uh, of what life with Jesus looks like. Lord, we continue to bring them to you in prayer. Lord, thank you that you love them 
Thank you for that that you long for them to turn to you. Lord Jesus, be their shepherd. Be their rock. May they come to know you and to follow you. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, let's continue on in prayer. Let's continue uh, knocking the door. Let's continue lifting these children and young people up to God. God's heart is for them. Um, and our longing for them is to know how loved they are. Grace and peace to you.